I'ma make you face your fears Everybody get ready You see I got my word and I got my heart There's nothing you can tell me On a mission, gotta listen for your passion Blasting through every barrier clashing Automatic, so I'm blessed with a skill set That I'd rather and less than to be what you see in me ah. Yo, yo, one, two, one, two It's the one and only hip-hop gamer A.K.A. Mr. Shots Fired You already know how it goes down Listen, Ubisoft versus the fans The dark truth revealed Now listen I'm going to be so real with y'all. I'm going to keep so 100 with y'all right now. The problems that Ubisoft is having right now with Assassin's Creed, Unity, the frame rate issues, you know, the embargo lifts, all the issues that they're having right now. You know what I'm saying? This is truly a blessing in disguise. Seriously. Now... I've had plenty of conversations, I've made plenty of videos, and I always talk about passion. Everything I do in the game industry is passion. Everybody that I talk to, whether it's fellow journalists, whether it's just consumers, real gamers, developers, publishers, you name it, everything I do deals with passion. And that's why I love this industry. That's why I love games. That's why I love people. That's why I love God. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, it's the passion of why we do what we do. You know what I'm saying? And I feel that Ubisoft, their shortcomings is a revelation. And basically, it's them starting to realize how more important passion is over money. How more important your work and your work ethic is over any money or results that you may see. And I feel that a lot of companies started to shy away from the actual reasons why they got into the game industry and a role that they play in that industry. I feel that they shied away from it. And now this is the moment where it's all going to come right back. You know what I'm saying? So this right here is a blessing in disguise. So the reason why I titled this Ubisoft versus the fans is because I think this is the opportunity for Ubisoft to become fans once again of their own work of this industry that they are leaders in. You see what I'm saying? So let's break down the points. You already know how it goes down. It's the one and only hip hop gamer. Pay attention. The first thing I want to talk about is this. Watch Dogs, one of my favorite games. I love that game. It could be better, it could be more polished, but overall, it's a really damn good game for their first time out. It's a good game. Now, here's the thing though. E3 2012, when they first showed the trailer of Watch Dogs, everybody and a mama, I wanted them. I stood up, I went crazy. After, after we left the um theater, I lost all of my mind. Like I was done. And I was like, yo, when I saw the trailer, everything about how, you know, people hacking into your phone and just the whole concept of it. I was like, yo, this game is going to be a hit. I can't wait for it. The graphics, everything like it was insane. But then reality, <clears throat> excuse me, then reality started to set in. You know what I'm saying? And the reality was this. When you look at the PC version of this game, they actually held back the PC version from it looking like what we originally saw because of parity issues. We want everything to look the same. Systems aren't built to do the same things. Sony didn't build PlayStation 4 to do the same thing as Xbox. Xbox didn't build their system to do the same thing as Nintendo. Nintendo didn't build their system to do the same thing as PC. Everybody is different. Everybody is unique. And it takes a lot, a lot of hard work to even be creative to make that uniqueness come to life. So when you see developers not utilizing this, it's a slap in the face for the hard work that the engineers had to put together to make these systems do what they do. And fans and consumers don't like that. You want to know why? Because when, when we all go out and we work hard for our money, and give you that money there's nothing funny about the money that we're giving there's nothing tainted there's nothing fake it's all real it's all work it's bloodshed and tears 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when we work hard, we bust our ass to give you guys the best quality of money that we work hard for. So we want the best of your ability in return. Period. And people get and th- people get upset when their intelligence is insulted because a lot of people, you know, in the industry, from a development standpoint, they have this knowledge of how to make things work. But a lot of the consumers don't have that knowledge. So they could be told anything and they gotta deal with that. And that's not fair. There needs to be there need to be a better relationship between everybody in the industry so together we can all make it grow. And it's better if we work together because we get more out of one another. You see what I'm saying? Everything has a trickle down effect, but we're all part of the same body. The game industry body. You see what I'm saying? So with Watch Dogs, PC version was held back. You know what I'm saying? The game comes out on PS4, Xbox One. And, you know, in that game, you really didn't have a lot of frame rate issues. It was pretty smooth for the most part. But even though it was smooth, there was a lot of areas that needed a lot more polish. You know what I'm saying? Like when it came to the gameplay, everything wasn't as smooth as you would like it to be. The driving really needs, really needed a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of these things that was frustrating. Now, when you think of Ubisoft and their track record, these dudes is legendary. Like Ubisoft don't really make mistakes like that when they make games. Like they, they joints be on point, period. Like Ubisoft is nice. Seriously, so when you see these mess ups, it's like, you know, Ubisoft, they're not rookies to the industry. So when you see them make rookie mistakes, it's almost as if you feel like, where's the passion at? Because they know better. So the first that was the first thing I want to break down with the whole Watch Dogs thing. And then, then uh, mods, you know, hackers and stuff, they found the file built in the game. With the uh in terms of the graphics and everything like that and they unlocked it themselves so they can enjoy the game the way it was meant to be played because ubisoft took that away from us that is wrong first strike right there the second thing is this assassin's creed now i'm gonna i'm gonna say assassin's creed money over quality now, the reason why I say this is because I truly feel that the pressure from the industry is what led to such an incredible, profitable, important franchise, Assassin's Creed. I feel that the pressure from the industry and a lot of people, y'all don't know this, dog, but a lot of people that's in a position of power, investors, a lot of people that's fronting a lot of this money, a lot of people that's in a position of power don't really care too much about gaming. They're not gamers. They just know they can make money in the game industry. So they'll foot the bill, they fund this, but a lot of them don't even understand gaming. They don't have a passion for it. Maybe they didn't even grow up with it. There's it doesn't mean they, it doesn't mean anything to them like how it means to us. So in their mind, they know, well, Assassin's Creed, that it's gonna sell like 8 million, 10 million, 12 million. So let's just put it out and patch it later. That's the way the industry is, so we'll be fine. No, that's bull. You wanna know why? Because it's great as Assassin's Creed game is. And I'll tell you, Assassin's Creed Unity, from a story standpoint, the game is really incredible. It's probably the best story I played, the best way it's told. Assassin's Creed is crazy, but those, the performance issues it, it holds it back tremendously. It holds it back. And what bothers me about that is that, you know, first, when when you don't tell the truth, the truth will actually work against you. But if you keep it real straight up, then nobody could use you against you because you already let the world know who you are. So it is what it is. Take it or leave it. Let's get it popping. And that's the problem in the industry. The problem in the industry is they insult our intelligence because they think we don't know the truth or know the capabilities and the things that go on. So let's break it down. Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed is a well-known franchise. They got plenty of Assassin's Creed. They're like four, five, six Assassin's Creed that done came out. So they know this game. Now, the engine, this isn't a new engine. It's a refined engine. 
Now, this Assassin's Creed engine that's being used had, was created in 2007. And it's the same engine that's been used. It's called the Anvil engine, I believe. And the engine that they're using now is called Anvil Next to represent next generation. So they know the engine. They know all of this stuff. The truth is, every year, they got a deadline to meet, certain money that they expect to make for their company. And honestly, because... That they because they were doing something new with Assassin's Creed Unity in terms of this co-op, all the people on screen at once, making the graphics look amazing, all these things, they was it was a more ambitious title that they needed more time for. And because people in a position of power, the corporations that don't really care about gaming and a passion behind it too much, because <clears throat> Because they know that they got to get that bottom line and that revenue stream in at a certain period of time. they like, look, just release it the way it is. We'll fix it later. But we need that money now. That's basically what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times, these people don't get paid. Like a lot of people that's working on a game, they could do overtime. But then there's a limit to it. You know what I'm saying? They could be working 50, 60 hours a week, but only get paid 37 of those hours. Or sometimes they may get paid... Like um no not 37 uh, I think it was 47 I think they may get four, paid 47 of those hours And stuff like that Instead of the full 50 or 60 that they may do Put like this There's a lot Of things behind the scenes That's not accurate and that's not right But when they get in front of the people When they do interviews they tell you a completely different story The truth is this And this is the dark truth revealed Right Assassin's Creed would have came out great but it would have been pushed back but the fact that it would have been pushed back it would have caused financial problems in terms of how they wanted to set things up for their yearly revenue because you got investors and all these other people that's paying attention you know stock market and all of that right that was the first thing the second thing is when they asked the developer in terms of the parity issue how they're going to keep it at 900p and you know 30 frames per second and their reasoning was because they wanted to avoid the issues and the problems that the fans would have why because they know that if the ps4 version is 1080p 60 frames per second and the xbox one version is 900p 30 frames per second they you're gonna get a whole bunch of emails everybody's gonna get mad it's gonna be a big thing and also one of your promotional partners because you have a bundle with assassin's creed with microsoft will not like their game being the one shafted you know what i'm saying because of the capabilities of the system or whatever so when you have all these business deals involved in the midst of your passion it gets between it gets it starts to blur a line between what you want to do you got your passion in one hand and you got your business in the other now, a lot of y'all got families, you got kids to take care of, so your business is going to come first over your passion because you got people that's putting pressure on you that has the power to take away the things you need. So you start debating and going against yourself. Do I release this game and just leave it like this so I can have my bottom line? Or do I go against the grain and make sure this is done and take a risk? Like, it's hard, and I understand that. I get that. But that's why I'm blessed. That's why we're all blessed that this has happened to Ubisoft. Because now Ubisoft already came out and said that they're going to start doing things different. And you want to know why? Because you companies are so worried about their bottom line. But if you don't take care of the people that support you co the correct way with the passion, you're not going to have no bottom line anyway. You're not going to have no bottom line. You ain't going to make no money. Your franchise is not going to be um, as big as it was. And you got to keep in mind, Dragon Age is out. Coming. Grand Theft Auto 5 Remastered is coming. You know what I'm saying? WWE 2K15 is coming. Far Cry 4 is coming. You know what I'm saying? You got other options. You got other games you can play. Shadow of Mordor is out there. That's great. Bayonetta 2. That's great. Smash Bros. There's other options. You don't need Assassin's Creed. If you really want to be serious, you could go elsewhere. Don't think you're too hot and you're untouchable. Your brand can fall too. But as long as you got passion, you will always win. And my words today is just encouraging Ubisoft and anyone out there that's a developer or any role you play in the game industry. Always follow your passion. Always keep your faith. Always go against the grain and win. Real talk and win. Because that's what we all about, dog. Win. 
Now we come to the last situation. And to me, I feel that Ubisoft's hardship, because I know there's a lot of developers sitting in there right now in the conference room, like feeling bad. They don't even care about the money at this point. They like, we let our fans down. That hurts more than losing a couple of dollars. M million dollars, billion dollars, I don't give a damn how much money it is. When you got fans that really care about you and care about the product and you let them down, it's like, it's one thing to let somebody down because you came up short with something. But it's one thing to let somebody down knowing that you didn't do your best because of other things involved that you can't speak about because you might get sued if you speak about it. It's hard, man. It's real and it's hard. And I just want the fans to understand how you, you know, how the developers must feel. Because I have tons of conversations with the developers. There's a lot of stuff that go on that y'all do not know about and it's not fair. But I speak for everybody. I keep it real. I don't care. Let's get it. So this to me will be the biggest benefit for Ubisoft's brand as a brand, as a company. Because now they got a taste of what it feels like to be fans once again. They got a taste to feel like what it's like to go to a store, get a game and be disappointed because you know the caliber and you know how good certain developers are and they let you down. Ubisoft felt that. That's the Creed came out. But you know what? I highly doubt that they'll make us feel that again. I highly doubt that they make themselves feel that way again. Ubisoft is back. I'm telling y'all. Ubisoft from this day forward is going to be bigger and better than ever sometimes it takes a step back to come back even stronger and that that's what i believe we will see from the new ubisoft real talk so to wrap it up if you look at sony they came out with the playstation 3 still did great but didn't do as good as PS2, didn't do as good as PS1 in terms of sales. Why? Because they got too cocky. They felt they was untouchable. Nobody could stop them. Then Microsoft came and showed them that, look, you ain't the only kings in town. We just as good as y'all, if not better, in certain, in certain areas. And they proved that with the 360. Then PS4 comes out and smashes everybody. Why? Because they got the ass beat. Real talk. Now, in truth, PS3 did outsell Xbox 360 worldwide. But in America, PS3 was looked at as Microsoft's bitch. Real talk. In America. But PS4 came out. They was like, we not having this problem again. Like, period. And PS4 was built off passion. Period. Period. It's crazy. Xbox One fell into the same trap as PS3. Oh, we big time now. We Microsoft. It don't matter. Look what we did with the 360. We brought you Xbox Live. We could show you TV, 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 and connect and connect. And we could do all of that and we good. Next thing you know, yeah, we $349.99 now. And um, we're not doing DRM. And basically, they retracted everything that they said. And now their system is looking more like a PlayStation in terms of features and things that they're trying to change. Wow. Now, the next Microsoft console, woo! Psst, that one is going to be crazy. The next Microsoft system, I'm, I'm, excited, I'm, I'm more excited for that now. Like, because I already know where they head is at with that look at nintendo they come out with the wii sell all 100 million consoles oh we good we this and that come out with the wii u uh, i mean we still got mario no look at activision call of duty every year we gonna sell this we gonna do that we the best we the best uh, we need to get that in rotation because our games aren't that great every year is it's not growing like we need it to be. Every company learns from their mistakes, but the mistake in that energy and the fans and the people that really care has to speak out in order to help these developers and publishers and companies understand that, hey, just like we're fans and we love gaming, you guys are fans and you love gaming too. Never lose sight of why we do what we do. 
and that's it so it's your boy hip-hop gamer one love and god bless i just really wanted to speak to y'all and kind of like preach to you guys because gaming is my life dog this is what we do you know what i'm saying so make sure you check me out on hot97.com follow me there twitter instagram hip-hop gamer twitch tv is hot 97 hip-hop gamer xbox one real hip-hop gamer psn id real dash hip-hop gamer make sure you follow me find me let's get it popping thank you so much god bless and ubisoft i love y'all man keep up the great work and i'm glad you realized why you do what you do thank you peace